when you when you watch the show in live or in replay um so we are live but i'm not i'm not i'm not good on the camera wait a second wait a second wait a second okay so here it seems we are good i will open the chat for the live show uh let me let me just open that right now just on time um uh, it's just on time today usually a bit in advance but today was just just on the clock five o'clock it's the time at my home and it's a time for good tea, the five o'clock tea, which I prepared an explanation of this, of me being just on time. Um, okay, wait, let me just get the, the chat open. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I'm not sure we are live now on, on the chess TV. We had a misunderstanding. Uh, let me just check if it's online. So if you are watching the replay on YouTube, should go a bit, a bit further. Yeah, so we have just a little issue with a, a little misunderstanding. Anyway. Let me just open up the chat box, which is going to be, wait a second, uh, okay, yeah, just here, just pop this out, get the microphone right, and okay, we'll be able to play some chess, okay. Okay, let's play some three minute games. Let's play some three minute chess games. Let me get the volume in my headphones. And we start with Masiek 92 from Poland. International master from Poland. So if you see those layers like MN, M, 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 I, and all, it's because I have the website in French. So, well, you can see the website in different language though. <laughs> knight f3 is supposed to be a bad move here. So after knight c6, I believe black is has already equalized and is even maybe better. The problem is that we'll have a very hard time dealing with the pins, uh, with the knight on f3, and eventually with the with the one with the pawn on d4 because I'm going to long castle and stretch the d4 pawn. So this is going to be a problem. This is obviously going to be a problem. Um, okay, d5 is just long castle. So I'm pinning the pawn as I just said. And now my next move will be e6 or might be e6. Knight e5 also is an idea to use uh, the pin here and to like attack it even more. If he castles, I'm just going to take on f3. Yeah, this position is, is, is a really very, very, very good. Uh, let's see how he plays. Let's just see how he plays. Okay, bishop f4. I don't want to calculate too much. I will go e5 and e4 to use this pin. So you see, as I said, he could not, he could not take on passant because of the queen. Oh, boys, I just missed this tactic. Was playing too quickly. Anyway, uh, it's the first game. Okay, I will take with the queen and I will go with queen takes g2. Yeah, so he tried this little trap which worked pretty good. <laughs> I was not concentrated. <clears throat> Question was was fairly winning. Anyway, um, anyway, do we have people in the chat? Nobody. Okay, knight d4, I'm going to take on g2. So now if he takes on c6, I can take h1 and eventually take d1 and retake on c6. If he goes king d2, I'm taking the knight. He, he might go king e2. Okay, he's moving here. Uh, okay. Um, 
So wait a second, I can go either 95 and no, I can't go 95. Okay, so it's a mistake that we avoided. Okay, if I take here, it takes back. I take on H2, we take on A7. Not a very good news. If I take on H2, it takes on C6. Not a very good news either. If I go bishop c5, it might just take like that. Bad news as well. Okay, this position is maybe just awful. Maybe knight a5. I don't really like it, but I think it's my best option. Because you go knight bishop e2, I can take on h2. And I don't let his queen, because if I took on d4, I mean, getting this queen on d4 was just so annoying, because it was like going to a7. And knight a5 is a strange move, because the, the, the knight is going away, but then I retake on c4. What's the problem here? He takes on f6, I take back, okay. Okay, he's threatening my knight, and I have no time for bishop h6, but... Okay, so here I have a few options. Uh, knight takes b2, we want bishop b4. Okay, let's take on b2 anyway. Rook b1, bishop b4, knight b5. Rook takes d5. I think I will, I will fall short. Okay, queen b5 was another move. I didn't see. Huh. Let me push e3 and try to go like that, take the pawn and... Because if I open up, if I open up the e file, the king might be in danger. Another option for white is to take on b2 and let me take on f2. And move the king away, but bishop h6. Well, it might be slightly dangerous for him. The king seems to go away. Okay, let's make this one. Let's take here and take on d5. Okay, let's pre-move queen takes d5. Because we are going to a time scramble here. I think I'm just... Just not having it. Oh boys, my hook was attacked. Oh! Give a check. Give another check. Give another check. Come back here. Oh, I'm losing the queen now. Oh, he didn't take it. Fabulous game. Let's try to take his queen. No, he saw that. Okay, so we are losing now. Okay, that was a ridiculous game. I had to be more careful. Okay, so second game. Let's try to play better. I mean, the first one was just, just very bad from both sides, though. G tech is a very annoying variation here. Yeah, I will not play this variation against Masiak anymore. That's not something I'm very comfortable with. Okay, let's go with C4. I don't know this move. I think it's just bad. But it's fun. I can maybe play knight c6, queen takes, and okay. Uh, let's take once. I don't think he's playing good. I I I, I just had a cold uh, last day, so I'm not in in my in my best form, and I feel it's it's pretty much the same with my opponent. I don't feel we have good games at all. 
Okay, let's go knight b3. I don't want to take because he would retake and he would attack my rook, so I prefer to develop and get my bishop on g2. A strong diagonal. And, well, maybe I would blow castle. And bring, bring the queen on e3. Like, bishop h6 check, I always have e3. Very solid. Well, okay, let's double up the rook on the d5. I mean, that is b5 is... Okay, let's double up. Like rook d2, rook d1. Okay, bring the king to c7, which is normal. Mm. Let's grab some space. Okay, let's shred off everything. Ah, this end game must be equal. <coughs> Well, he has the bishop here, but I have a better pawn structure. That was not a very strong move, but okay. The knight to d3. In the contra, I'm protecting f2 and putting b2. Knight c4. Let me move to my king to e2, and I will play b3. Maybe not so quickly. Okay, let's go B3 now. <clears throat> okay, dancing with my knight. Maybe bishop C6 here is good. No, it doesn't. Let's bring this knight over there. Okay, I think training a pair of knight is not a bad thing for me. Okay, bring the king to c3 now. We have f5 and... I would prefer to have the bishops. I would feel more comfortable, but it should be, should be okay. Don't really like this end game. Maybe I want to bring my pawn to a4. Yep, I mean it's not comfortable and I'm not playing good. I'm not playing good. Bring the knight away. Okay, let's go knight a4 check. If he takes, it's a drawn endgame. So he can't take, and let's try to bring back the knight to c4. Yeah. Okay. I don't have time anymore. I I'm, I'm just don't know why I'm so slow. But I mean, the endgame is drawn. If I play correctly, which is not the case, and now I need to play quick and correct. I just needed to play quick first. Now I need to play quick and correct. Okay. Not really sure that pushing all those pawns is is making much for him. Not really sure how he could improve. But my clock is a problem. Just he wants to go here, but I won't let him. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is an improvement. So now let's push my pawns. Okay, yeah, this is losing. <sighs> what a poor play. What an awful play. As I say, I'm not in a very, very good form and two very silly loss. I should have played quickly. 
quicker. Just playing go for the moment. Okay. It's time to wake up. Mm, okay, it's a theoretical line. Nothing special. Just a line in the Scandinavian. Bishop b4 is done to like stop white from uh, making a, a discovery. Okay, I don't really know this variation. I don't even know. I don't even know if it exists. Not sure taking was a good idea. Anyway, um, okay, I'll bring the knight to d5, and if he treads, let's tread everything off. Okay. And take with this pawn and maybe offer a draw. To run to the next game, no draws, okay. Let's play it through. Okay, bring my bishop on e4. Bring a rook here. Push f6. Honestly, I mean, no, I mean, it's equal. Nobody has anything here. Okay. Um, let's take. Push f6. You can eventually push, I will take, he has to take with the d-pawn and I'm going to play with the rook to f5, the rook to f8, the pawn to g6. Maybe I'm slightly better now. Okay, let's advance my king. Okay, I want to open up a fight, which is nicely done. Okay, let's take once and bring the hook to d8. So I'm not letting him take this file for himself. And maybe I'm going to double up now. Okay, so you don't want to let me do that. So if I go hook h5 here, I go hook d2, I'm getting a check. Could have an interesting pawn end game. Um, let's have a try. I just tried to calculate the pawn end game, but it's not that easy. Oh, boys. I forgot this move. Jesus. I'm really not playing good today. Okay, he's going to give a check. I'm going to king e7. I was calculating a complicated endgame, pawn endgame, and I saw it would be interesting on the stream to have it. And finally, I just forgot that. But I'm not sure that this move, he just played rook d6, was good. Because after g5, rook takes the pawn endgame with king e6 should be winning because I would have the outside pass pawn. We will see that. Second, so take, take, take. Okay, let me go king to e6 now and take on the next move with a pre move. Okay, uh, just play b6 and then take, 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 and I can go b5. Let's push a6. Probably I should have played b5 first. Okay, let's take, 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 take. Okay, b5 is going to take probably with the c pawn. Okay, he takes with the a pawn. Okay, I have to retake. Take, take. Then h5 will be important because I need to take space over there. When I take the pawn, I need to be closer to g2. But this should be winning. He has no time to come back to f1, like king here. Going h4, king here. Um, I'm taking, taking, king e4, take, take, take. Okay. No way. 
King e4, King... I cannot approach directly the pawn. King e4, King c4, King here, King here, King here, King here, King takes, and King f2. Okay, this is going to be a draw. Was it winning at some point? Can I play like that anyway? Doesn't change anything. So I should have played here instead of king e6, probably b5. And then I would have get... I don't know. Anyway. Let's give another try. Playing against Agves now. Now Minion Grandmaster. So okay, the last match I mean it was it was just it was just not good form at all. So let's try to play better against this Agves guy. Mm, okay, let's bring knight to f3. Maybe go a5 at some point. I've lost countless games in this position. Maybe f5 here is a good move for black. I would have to assess that. Okay. Um, let's go rook c1, just develop the pieces. Queen to a4. Rook c2, rook c1. Maybe bishop a6 could be a move, by the way. After rook c8, maybe bishop a6 is not a bad move. I want to try it. The thing is that I'm stopping the a6 b5 idea, and I mean, this light square bishop seems good. Let me get some, some t in. Okay, knight a5, so he's provoking me. So I got to tread. It will take back with the queen and let me go knight c3. It's predicting the pawn, but now it will go rook c4, don't he? Queen d1 back and rook c8 and he's doubling on the, with the rook. Okay, knight c4 is another move, which is tricky by the way. Mm -hmm. okay, he's threatening this guy. And I cannot play queen c c2 because of this one okay um <coughs> sorry um knight b3 knight b5 his idea to take on c4 but i let the pawn on e4 hanging mm, too many things are hanging right Okay, let's go b3, even if I don't like the move. Oh, wow. Wow. I s felt someone was happening here, but he has the day 3 score. Maybe I can... Oh, wait. Because I, I thought queen a3 and I d3 and he was like making a fork. But queen b5, I want to play queen e2 and to trap the knight on b2. Whoa. This might be a happy outcome for us. Okay, so he sacks material to activate his queen and try to save the knights. But well, um, can I play rook f2 here? Okay, as queen b1, but then I go queen f1. It's really risky. It's really risky. Um... <laughs> Okay, I want to try it, but it's very risky. Maybe I missed something very obvious. Just it's fun. Okay, I missed something very obvious. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I just wanted to have fun. Uh, 
Uh, chess is not a game where you can have fun. Now we have to resign. But okay, it was winning. I mean, it's ridiculous. I need to play to win more than to have fun. Boys. I felt something should be wrong here. <laughs> but I, I, <laughs> I wanted to try this move. <laughs> She's ridiculous. I don't know. It, it has the... It gave the feelings there is a tactic for... <laughs> for black. I just I couldn't see. Okay. Um, next game. It's not really brilliant for the moment, but it's fun. Uh, the last one was really funny, though. Okay. Let's just try to go h4 and just, just give a checkmate. Let's just try to make something better. Uh, okay, let's go e6. <laughs> Take this pawn. Let's take material and then we'll see what happens. But again, it's not looking good. I don't know what to do. I hate that. Some days I play good, some days I play bad. And it looks like a day we're not playing too good. Uh, okay. From another hand, where is this queen going? This queen doesn't have much squares. Okay, it's going over there, but now I'm going to shred it again. And he will have to accept to thread it. Okay, he's moving away again, but now I will have a discovery. Okay, I don't have rook b5 because of knight takes. Good, I saw that tactic. I could have felt for it, but where it goes if I go rook to g4? Okay, he's going to take on f8 and take on g4, but he's going to be a queen up. Okay, he resigns. Oh, after playing so many bad games in a row. I mean, not bad games, I mean, not finishing them off. Finally, we get uh, uh, a win in the bag. Okay, let's take. I hope they don't take with g. Okay, he takes with e pawn. I'm much more comfortable with this one. Okay, no, I'm not sure. If they, okay, can they take here? Honestly, I just don't know. I'm just learning. Honestly, I just don't know. I just have no idea if they could take or not. So it's just a learning thing for me. It's good when you can learn from a blitz game. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um... So the knight is protecting the pawn. Can I just develop normally? I think I will have to take at some point and I want to go to with the queen on g4 maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, let's play normal for the moment. Let's play bishop e2, bishop d6, knight takes, pawn takes, castle. Uh, maybe a4 first with the idea to play a5. But he's going to play a5 himself. Okay, let's castle. Okay, cannot make any checkmate attack or anything. He just has a bishop and a queen eventually. It can't be too bad. Okay, queen e7. And now let's go and grab the pawn back. Okay, he wants to take back with, with the queen and make a straight mate check. Okay, let's take on the two with a check. Let's take with another check. Okay. Um, let's take. And let's take. And let's play knight c3 and bring the rook to d1. And we are slightly worse out of the opening. But it's usual for me to have a tough position to play. 
So we'll assume it's normal. Okay, let's go with f4, which is a strange move, but I want to go quickly with my king and push the pawn. If I can. Okay. We'll play with b5. Okay, let me push g4 to win time. So if he takes, I'm going e4, e5, and knight c3. And if he doesn't take, I will go knight f2 and push quickly. Uh, this endgame is hard. He wants to go knight c king here, king here. Okay, I have to play knight f2. Okay. Yeah, my king is going to run away from important squares. I think it's losing. We lost in the opening. I, I saw this variation, but just I can't do anything. Yeah, we lost from the opening this one. Just got a very bad opening and it was hard to fight. Uh, F4 was maybe not a good move. Maybe A4 was a mistake. I don't know. Okay, let's try to play a Slav defense. Oh, I'm not playing knight bd7. I'm playing h6. I don't know how to play this Cambridge Spring, it's called. And I don't really know it. Uh, okay. I believe he plays with a3, b4 here, or f4. Oh, my queen is trapped. Jesus! Okay, let's resign. Take another game. Okay. This is a losing fiesta, isn't it? Okay, let's try a, a Sicilian, maybe a knight off. Okay. If I'm not playing my openings, I'm just missing the moves from move five. It won't be easy. Okay, that's the way Casper played against that. Okay, this rook g1 variation. Okay. Let's play bishop e2, just go cover d square. Because he could have a threat like take take and knight f3. Mm. Okay, bring the knight to d5. I don't know. Maybe I can play take, bishop b6, knight c7, then take on a8. So I'm creating a threat. It's never a bad thing to create a threat though. And maybe I want to play f4, forcing to take, take, and then I will thread off the bishops. I think knight e5 is a good move, I hope so. Okay, I can take bishop b6, knight c7 check. It's pretty much forced, and then take on a8. It should be an exchange up. An exchange that can't be too bad. Okay, let's give a check, take the exchange. Okay, and now, okay, he's threatening this guy. Um, if I go bishop d4, he can take here. Which will not be a big problem. Well, bishop d4 might even pin this guy, so I'm not even sure he can play bishop takes c4. Maybe I can play f4. Do I miss something? I feel I'm missing something the whole day. 
But here, I, I don't know. Okay, rook c8, uh, like seriously? Okay, I'm just taking this one. What am I missing here? I mean, is it serious? Like I'm... Again, when you start like missing easy moves, everything looks scary. Even this one. But I mean, here, I mean, even if I was missing all the tactics on the earth, it just gave me like a rook and the, and, and the piece. But he can give me a rematch here. So that's for the normal game. That was finally a normal game by myself. Not like playing like a shit, like really. But here we could find a couple of tactics in a row. Which was enough. Okay, Sigub John. Guy from Iceland. Okay, let's try to beat this guy 4 nil. Let's try to make a 4 nil. Okay, this is all theoretical. This is a very, very, very big line. Okay, it is a move I invented, by the way. I was the first one to play bishop d6, I believe, in, a, in an official game. So I'm kind of playing my variation. Okay, so it's push, push. So I just want to play a4. When someone saying in the chat, just watch my grub against Colson it was awesome. Yeah, I was playing good this day. Okay, so as far as I remember, I, I have to play like a4, b4 here at some point. Um, let's start by a simple castling and we'll deal with the with the a4 and, uh, and whatever happening later on. Okay, bishop g4. So I can play a4, b4 now, the bishop is away, and then a3, like chick, 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 chick. pushing. Can't play h5 because of tank. Okay, here. Is this threatening h5? Really doesn't. I would just take it away. So let's play a4, b4, a3 maybe. Okay, maybe I will play. Because if I get b4 take and a3 could retake. And the queen now would be protecting. So let's bring the knight back to d7. Oh, he wants to bring the bishop over there. Uh, I will start with queen h5. Just making sure my queen doesn't get trapped. I didn't play this position for long, even if I was the first one to play it. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, I remember that I liked to take and to like play h6. Like bishop f4 and tread again. Okay. Okay, he gives the bishop away. I will not take it. It's too dangerous. But maybe one day I would have pawn takes bishop. I mean. It's not too bad for me that the bishop is, is hanging over there. Let's move the king away. But this bishop, one day, maybe I will play h take. I mean, it means that this rook is just forced to stay here to, to, to have some attack. And if one day this rook lifts, I, I might have something. Okay, uh, let's bring the knight to d5. I think it will be well placed. Oh, wow. I just saw this move just right after I played. But okay, um, he's running mate in one. Okay, I can push and I can, I can take on f4 with a check. So I retake, I take, and I will be threatening knight e2 to grab the rook over there. 
So he has no time to make me an intermediate because I give a check and I take the rook. So let me give the check. Let me grab the rook. Let me move my rook to here. Okay, let me grab the pawn now. And I want to grab this guy. Let's give me, let's give a check. Let's cover. Okay, this is a winning position now. I just need to finish it off. Um, let's push. Let's just push the pawns. I'm letting those pawns. I'm leaving those pawns, which might be risky, but I want to push mine. Because it's a blitz game and uh, it's a better way to win this end game, I believe. Okay, I grabbed a lot of pawns. Now it's time to push mine. Okay, let's go to attack them. I might even have rook f4 checkmate here. <laughs> this was funny, guys. This this checkmate was a lot of fun. You should, you should agree. This checkmate threat was really hard to stop. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Oh, boys, this was a funny checkmate to threat. Very unexpected, right? <laughs> so, we could not beat this guy for nil because. I mean, this was fun because, I mean, with King C4, he tried to avoid the checkmate, but it was still there. <laughs> it makes the checkmates fun. You, mu you must agree. You must agree. Okay, playing against this guy, Pravin Saga. Who is that? Nobody knows. It's this guy on the picture. Yeah, but if he went Bishop D5 to cover, I mean... Uh, the problem would have been that, uh, let's go c4, just have fun. Uh, the problem would have been that he would lose the c6 pawn. Okay, uh, <laughs> not sure this position is playable at all, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is forcing an end game. Uh, I think after after queen takes takes he goes a6 and he covers the b5 square and it's absolutely nothing for white I'm going to go g3 chip g2 Well, okay, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't cover the square um, Well, okay um, Let's go bishop g5 Probably get on castle Yeah, because, I mean, if he takes, I'm taking back with the knight, and can I? Yeah, okay. Um, can I go knight d6 check? Okay. Uh, I think he had to play king d7 immediately, but who knows. Uh, mm. Okay, um, he's just, he's just, he's just moving quickly to attack me. Okay, let's go king b1. Yep, he played good, he played good. I need to push the pawn on e4 and I have absolutely nothing here. I'm even struggling again. Well, maybe not struggling because I'm straightening bishop takes a6. So, yeah, I'm forcing a, a, a knight move, then bishop e2, and I'm just on time to double up on the d file, which will be a relief. 
But I have nothing. I have no time to play with my G3, my G3 Bishop G2 idea. And well, the knight is going back to D4. Let's go H3. Bishop G4. I want to trade off those bishops because this is my bad bishop. So basically, I want to trade it. I'm not sure how strong it is to tread that, but at least I will not struggle. Okay, it's really tread. Okay, uh, doesn't have access to d3 with his knight, which is important. Okay, take, take. Okay, uh, well, first a draw. What do you guys think? Usually I don't want to draw, but I don't see where I could have even an advantage. Because if I take, take, uh, I go a3, knight, d3, f3, knight, e1, ah, let's take the draw. I don't think I could, uh, I could, I could claim any advantage. Uh, I, I was not... I was even slightly worse. If it was just absolutely equal, I would have played. But I think I, I, had, I had a little struggle. And uh, better to beat him in this game. Just I don't like to take the draws. I mean, if people offer a draw, it means they... Usually when someone offers you a draw, it means you don't want to play. Okay, I'm playing this ridiculous line again. Uh... This is really ridiculous. Because I have no time to take, take, take. He has knight g5 immediately, queen f5. Oh, and he will have bishop g4. Okay, I have to take now. Better was queen d7. Okay, uh, so knight f6. Oh boy, he's out. What's happening with my head? Forget bishop takes c6, boys. Okay, let's try to cover as much as we can. Just playing fantastically bad. I cannot attack him, I believe. Game is such a shit. This game is so awful. This game is just so awful. Um, okay, let's just try knight b6. Let's try to save it. This pawn is going to be weak, but can I give it away? I'm just not getting any any momentum. Just because of my silly mistakes. It's very frustrating to play. This is just very frustrating to play. We are getting checkmated here, either, either here, either here. Defending as much as I can, but just we can't attack, which is a problem. I'm trying to put up, put up a, a, a strong defense. Okay, uh, let's go to f5. Now we cannot move the queen. <laughs> if we move the king queen here, we'll get checkmated in two moves. Um, okay, my idea was just to push it. 
to push down, you know. I wanted to push down the wall way and push H4. And try to create some threats. The premier is queen e6. <clears throat> Which is winning. He didn't see it, but he has it. Okay. He didn't see it a second time. Okay, so now it's not over. So now suddenly it's not over because he mixed queen e6. Uh, okay, this is defending unfortunately. And we don't have anything now. Well, put ourselves herself in deep troubles and now I cannot open up the king. We have no time. I don't know. Again, how could I just create a trap? I even don't know how to. No, I mean, he has now queen here and knight takes. Okay, well. The funniest thing is after rook takes d4, if we took and took on a6, we would have a good position. Okay, no rematch. Well, the guy doesn't give rematch even. Oh, the last game was so full, but he could have gave a rematch. Okay. Luis Silva, e3. Come on, guys, what are you doing? Okay, I'm going to play the grub, come on. If you go e3, I mean, this is just... This is just asking to be grubbed. Okay, I'm just going to sack everything at this guy. I mean, e3 is just too much. Okay, I mean, come on, I'm going to push all my pawns all over the way. Oh, well, you lost your knight. No, I mean, he could take. Okay, didn't lose the knight. Anyway, I'm going to give up every everything I can. And I'm just going to push like the whole way all my pieces. Come on, I mean. E3 first move. This is too much. You can't seriously play E3 first move. And he's a bit lucky because I'm not winning the f2 pawn. Let's push c5. Come on, I'm pushing all the pawns. I'm pushing all my pawns now. I don't care. I'm just going to give a check. You know what? I mean, e3 first move. You can't do that. You just can't do that. What's that? What is this move? Okay, I'm just taking your piece off. Okay, I mean, what are you doing, man? What is he doing? What is this guy doing, man? What is this? I just don't understand what the man is playing. He's just carrying me off. All the time he's carrying me off. I just can't understand the moves. Yeah, but I mean, this is an endgame with a piece down. What is this? Yeah, I mean, it's always carrying me off when I just don't have a clue. To string all the pieces just to have a losing end game. Okay, I'm just... Whatever, man. Let me just bring the rook to d8 first.
Okay, bishop here, the king to h7. Just have no clue. Okay, bishop here. I just don't understand what is happening. Okay, I'm just bringing my pieces on better squares. Okay, I'm just going to grab this pawn. Well, what a strange game. Okay, I'm just taking your pawn and I'm going bishop d3. Come on, just resign, man. Come on, I mean, are you playing this one? Are you seriously playing this one? Okay, I mean, if you go with E3, I'm just going to grab you all the way down. Like, you are going to get grabbed for the for every single game you play against me. Oh, wow, you take on, C4, on G4 now. Don't want to get all the pawns on your, on your way. Okay, bang, taking your pawn. So one down, this is two pawns down. And I'm just going to sack the queen probably because it's fun or not. I think I just misplayed the grab now, but is sacking the queen possible? Okay, come on, let's sack the queen. Let's sack this queen. Which was really stupid, but anyway. Um, okay. Going to play f4. Who cares? If he goes queen h4, I'm just bringing the king to f1. Very well protected on f1 in the grub. And I will just I will just promote my pawn now. You will see. Okay, he's so attacking this guy. How do we protect it? Let's break with the pawn. Okay, now let's develop our pieces and let's let's just queen this man. Okay, so just to queen down, it's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Let's develop the, the, the knight. He takes, takes, queen h4, and we just go to c2. Okay, if you want to move like that. Oh, boys. Her king is going to get stuck on f1. It seemed well protected, but I need to bring more pieces in. Okay, let's bring the bishop to e1. Okay, it's a tough game, it's a tough game. Okay, we protected her, her king. Now let's promote the pawn. I said we're going to promote this guy, and we need to keep her. We we need to keep her words. We need to keep her words. This guy needs to be promoted. Oh, Jesus, this is more threats coming. More threats coming because of this queen down. And I don't know if we can protect. It seems we are going to lose this game. Giving up the queen was not a good idea. Okay, maybe knight g3. Oh no, we're getting checkmate at queen f3, king e1, and queen knight g2 checkmate. Okay. We need to give up more material. But okay, the good point is that we still have our pawn. Looking to be promoted. We are pushing on the queen side. He's pushing on the king side.
Who will be first? Okay, we'll cover with the knight if he gives another check. Oh, wow. He was too afraid by your pawn. He decided to sack material against it. Okay, boys. <sighs> Giving up this queen was too much. Okay, he goes e4 now. Giving up this queen was too much. But we give it we gave it a try. We gave it a try. We could have won a beautiful game. Give you a gap the queen for no reason. Those are the best game. When you give up the queen, uh, okay. Let's go knight to g4, h3, bishop c5, check, king h1, and knight f2. Ah, oh, it will not work because of rook takes, queen takes, and knight takes. Ah, oh, boys. Ah, oh, that's insane. Ah, oh, miscalculated. It was close. It was a close one. Huge tactical mistake. Okay, let's try to continue, but this is a huge blow. The huge miss. Knight coming back to d1. Saving the day for white. Okay, luckily you cannot take, take and take on g4 because... Well, I would have something. I would have a, a knight g3 check at the end. But okay, he can't take right now. You can come and take right now. Okay, let's take once and go queen h4. Okay, he won't go knight f2, but he's going to cover it. And I don't see how we can finish off our attack. I think we just cannot. We just cannot bring new pieces in. Well, I can break the knight and move away the queen. But this is not going to bring us any checkmate. But it's not so easy to develop for white though. I mean, white can't move easily. Okay, let's move away the bishop. Okay, no worries. Maybe I need to double up. Let's cover it. We'll take with the rook if something. Okay, but the thing is that he's, uh, he's attacking my king now. This guy didn't look dangerous at first. And now he has become dangerous. Okay, uh, he's pushing all the way. Okay, rookie one is not creating any threats. Pawn takes king here. Okay, this is 
this is looking fun, but I don't know where it's bringing us. I don't know where it is bringing us. It might bring us to nowhere. If pawn takes, I'm going to go king v8, just not to have any checks to cover. But I'm not even sure we are making a threat. Oh, but the problem is that he can give a check and king b7 is forced. Oh, boys. And then he can grab the, the bishop by force. But okay. This is something I forgot. Anyway, this position was forced if we take it on, 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 uh, on b7 first. Okay, now I can't make work the thing I wanted to work because I don't have the bishop. I didn't have to think about it too much. Okay, now he has queen f2 check, which is deadly. I will show you what I wanted to make work. What was the thing I wanted to make work? It was just impossible. But it would have been beautiful. If it did. It's not... So obviously I will lose, but okay, we drawn it. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's play another game. Uh, let's play d4. <laughs> what a bad end game by my opponent. But uh, well, was close. I wanted just to keep the bishop to make work the checkmate threats, but I forgot he could play the check check and, and, and sack the the rook against it. If not, it could have been a beautiful checkmate. Here if he plays c4, I can maybe take. Uh, okay, let's go for the checkmate again. Let's have fun now. Well, we are threatening maybe some stuff, so really. Knight f3, knight g5 are the two next moves. But the likes game, it was close. Yeah, I wanted to bring all the pieces and create a checkmate net. Okay, it's bringing material to defend. Let's bring more to attack. Okay, and now if he goes h6, I could go knight xc6 or knight xf7. We are not having a concrete threat, but I'm saying we have a lot of pieces over the king. Okay, we could play. Oh, okay. I think there is a checkmate in three. If you want, you can search for it. So I'm letting the chat. So I have the, the chat on Twitch and the chess.com chat open. I think we have a checkmate on three move. One, two, three. Yeah. And it should be working, so I will give up, give time to the chat to find it now. It's a beautiful combination. So I will let you search for it. <laughs> Someone asked if I win sometime. Okay, should I page 7 and knight f7? <laughs> Guys, I ask if I win. But we'll be leading against this guy, okay. Good you saw it. No worries. 
<laughs> okay, let's go G5. I'm just having a lot of fun, guys, when I play online. I just play seriously when I play the... The title Tuesdays. And even though not too seriously. But today I've, I uh, I have a... I had a cold. I mean, I still have a cold, so I'm... Not on my, on my best... Uh, my best form. But I'm not losing so much. I don't mean like that. <laughs> but maybe speaking in English is asking me an extra effort, you know, to play. Because it's not my my language, obviously. And I, I don't know how much it affects the brain when, when you when you speak in a in a foreign language, but it surely does. So it's maybe uh making the task uh slightly harder. Okay, uh What what can I do? Like seriously, like I just want to make something beautiful. Um, I don't have any idea for the moment. Let's go G three. Okay, take take, and I take F two. I mean, a pawn is a pawn. I want to grab it. Maybe then we go Bishop G seven, Bishop H six at some point to pin something. I could not play queen h1, queen g2 because he covers with the bishop. Okay. This is the way he wants to play it. Okay, it's take once. I, I just want to see what he does. Because maybe he takes with the knight and then I go rook d8. Maybe he takes with the bishop and then I go queen h1. He goes bishop f1. And I go bishop g4. Okay, is he threatening anything? Yeah, he's threatening this pawn. I mean, who cares about this pawn from another hand? Let's just push. He cannot play bishop b5 because his own bishop is pinned. And let's see how he reacts. If he goes back knight d3, probably I long castle. Taking the chance. If he goes knight b7, well, whatever, and he doesn't have queen d7. Okay, he moves the queen over there. Which I missed. But what happens if I protect? Because I'm protecting the knight, I'm attacking the queen, and like everything is well protected, and now I'm grabbing this guy. Okay, now I'm winning. Let's just not spoil it. He's having a threat on c7. And if I take, he takes back with the queen. And my rook will not be too well. Let's go rook b8. Not sure about this one. But I, maybe I want to play king to f8. Anyway, who cares about this pawn? And then bring the knight to d4. Like if he moves the queen, I'm taking and I'm bringing the knight to d4 probably. Okay, I can't do that. Okay, let's move the king away. Anyway, I wanted to. Or maybe he can play bishop takes c5. This position is far from being easy. Let's give it a check. Let's give another check. Let's move away. Well, I have 28 seconds. I'm trying to play a good game and... Again, this time issue, time issue, time issue all the time. All the time it's all about time. Okay, 
And I don't have the stamina now. Okay, let's grab. Let's play knight d4. Maybe I want queen e3 check. Even not maybe. I want queen e3 check. And I want bishop e2 checkmate. Oh, this is a checkmate with bishop e2, I believe. Coming from the from the back side. Yeah, coming from the back. A beautiful checkmate, by the way. Just, 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 just checkmate it. No, it's it's all it's all because of this guy. What's what's his name again? His name was Todovic or something. Yeah, Todikovic. Todikovic. Todikovic was the man just waking me up. Just think, I always seem losing. Okay, two thousand six hundred. Tough. Want to lose? Okay, if you want to lose, just resign. Why? Why are you playing? Why the? What the hell, man? You just want to lose. Just resign. Why? I mean, I just don't know your nickname. I mean, what is this weird nickname? You just need to... To press the resign button. It's so easy. I can help you if you want. It's on the, it's on the right side. It's on the west side. Push B5, I don't know if it's good. I think it's shit. I mean, with such a nickname, the guy is trying to beat me. I want to play D5 and just give up this exchange. Just because I want to do it. Come on, take the exchange. You just want to take it. Good. Okay, no worries. Bring my bishop to e6. No problem. It's no problem. Oh, boys. He wants to give me a checkmate. This is something we didn't foresee. <laughs> just want to checkmate me. Boys. <laughs> How did I miss that? Yeah, just, just didn't think about it. Um, what do we do? If we go king h1, queen h3, rook g1, he goes rook f6, and he's going to checkmate us on h2. Uh, we do have to go queen e1. This was ridiculous. Okay, bring the knight to d4. This was just so stupid. <laughs> oh. So stupid, it's almost fun. Okay, for the moment there is no checkmate. Uh, I think I'm going to go queen f1. Covering. Okay, I'm gonna go queen e6. If queen h5, I will play h3. Maybe it's going to sack back. <coughs> Which is obviously a good op might be a good option. Okay, yeah, he sacks back. Okay, let's bring the rook to d5. Mm-hmm. He wants to play the sand game. Oh, can I take take and then try to save my ass? Let's take h3 because I want king h2. You are obviously not watching Ikaru Nakamura playing. <laughs> it's late. But I'm trying to, to get a position where I could get a... Okay, let's go back. Or not. Yeah, let's, let's, let's move back. Or I could get a perpetual check.
But I believe he needs to move the king away. Okay, here I have to try c5. Queen e2 is strong. And I will have absolutely nothing. I just don't have a, a perpetual check. Okay. It was a funny game. I don't think, yeah, I could not. I should have played h3 quicker and queen king h2. Rook d5 was not a good move. Maybe rook d4 was better. Oh, boy, is rook f5. Oh, I had queen h3. How did I miss that? Oh, boys, I had queen h3. Which was saving the day. He, should, uh, he could not take no checkmate because I have an intermediate and I could get to the end game. Oh, boys. That was not a hard one to see. That was something I should have found. That's something I should have found. Okay. Uh, do we play the ridiculous again? No, let's not. Okay. I will. Okay. It's training everything off. Okay. Let's play bishop d6 and thread some pieces. Okay, maybe he wants to take the bishop and then we checkmate on h2, which would be lovely. No, he doesn't. Let's go backward. Threatening the knight. Okay. Let's keep attacking it. He will go on g3, we'll keep attacking it, and he will have to go to h1. Okay, well, he's taking it now. Okay, um, let's take with h, so he's threatening the knight. If knight g3, queen h4. Okay, he takes, which is logical. And I believe we take, take a knight f6. Developing the last piece on the board, and if he takes, we take back with the g pawn, opening a new file. And if he doesn't, well, let's see what he does. Because if he doesn't, we are going to bring more pieces in. Like rook h5, rook h8. Well, take, take. This this is looking very dangerous. Scary. This is looking very scary for white. This is a scary movie. This is a scary movie for white. Um, okay, knight d4 protecting the pawn. And maybe knight e2 checkmate one day. Who knows? Okay, but now I can play f5, which is a, a fork. This is a fork. Okay. The thing is that we win the easy games and we lose the tough one. <coughs> okay. So this, is a, this is a totally playable position. Uh, let's try to get to the same game, queen b6, c5, take, take, b4, b5, so he's moving the rook away and we bring the knight over there. Let's move h3, keeping a square for my bishop, okay, bishop d6. And bishop d6 and f4 was better, I believe. Let's go bishop d6 now. Okay, where should I bring my king? Let's keep it in the center. Should I play bishop d6 f4 first? Okay, stack with the pawn. Well, I have to take because I cannot give up the bishop. Okay, protecting the pawn. The 
it's straight off the bishops, bring the rook on e1. So, okay. The thing is that this pawn might be a weakness at some point when I play knight a5. That's why I bring the bishop to, to d8. This endgame is supposed to be drawn. Equal. So if I take, take, rook here, okay, we'll bring the queen, e, the, the king. If I play knight a5, take, take, rook b8, okay. Uh, if I move the rook, take, take. And then maybe I can, okay, I will try to like have the pawn on d6, which, which will be extremely weak. Well, it doesn't let me do this idea. Ah, okay, knight to a5. Bishop takes, it takes, take, take, nothing, 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 nowhere. Mm -hmm. Just don't have an advantage, you know where. Okay, it's take, take. Bring the rook to e1, but this is absolutely nothing. This is just equal. Could even be worse at some point. Which is happening now. If you play for a win, in those positions at some point you even get worse. You can't you can't can't have a check because it's a diagonal between the knight and the king. But I don't threat f4 because of turn 10 king takes as knight g6 check. I was counting on knight d3 and I was covering. So I will play rook e2. Okay, he's playing like that immediately. Okay, I do have to take. This is just a bad position I got myself into. And I have no time. Just I was trying to play a good game. And I ended up playing a shit. Like a shit. Which is usual. <laughs> okay, let's give a check. Give another check. Mm -hmm. Let's push the pawns one, the pawn ones. Twenty three seconds. It's becoming serious. Well, I'm approaching the pawn now. Well, let's grab it. So it was a good threat for me. Getting the momentum back. Okay, I'm going to attack the pawns. They're protecting and now I'm going for the two pawns. Now let's push it. Okay, going making a diagonal. It's important because then I know I it doesn't have checks. But yeah, it's it's drawn. Ah, but we were close. I don't know if it, if we could have won the game from here. No, we couldn't. You bring the knight to c6 and it's drawn, but it was a it was a nice one. Okay, let's finish with the last couple games. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow up. Tell me in the chat if you like the if you like the show. Or if you just dislike it.
But the quality of games was not too bad. I mean, we didn't play too bad. It was a hard start, but then... Let's play d6. Okay, then I want to trade the queens. We want the grub. Everybody wants the grub. I want the grub. The ultimate opening. Okay, let's take and let's let him. I will let him grab this guy to open up my bishop, which will shine on the long diagonal. Well, okay. I don't know how much shining it is, but... Maybe I was a bit too optimistic when I said shining. Anyway, we go knight d7, queen f6 maybe, when it takes. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go rook e8. Let's play a couple moves. I don't know how I should deal with all those things. I want to get this e4 pawn. At least I'm creating a good threat now. And knight to g4. Now I'm cre creating two strong threats. I feel like I'm... Uh, <coughs> I'm dominating here from this early pawn sack. Knight f3 seems to be the only move here. But I will take on f2 and, uh, well, I will be up materially. And maybe queen b6 then I'm turning knight f2 check and... Yeah, I mean, this is, this is, this is a strong, this is, a, those are two, two strong pieces together. If he goes to h3, I bang, bang. Okay, so take and what I saw is queen b6, pre-move, bang. Pre-moving is strong here. Threading knight f2 check. Okay, and here we get it in. And so he has to sack the exchange. And now the e4 pawn is falling, b2 is falling, everybody is falling. It was kung fu fighting. And all the pawns were falling. It was kung fu fighting. Yeah, it was a nice remix and all, all, all the pawns were falling. Cannot be too random. I don't know if it's a good way to play, but I want to finish it in style. Going for the G2 pawn, going for everybody. Okay, bring him. Oh, boys, I need to take care of this pawn. Always fall into traps, huh? always fall into traps. Good thing is that, yeah, I need to take care. But I can take on d2. Oh, he will checkmate. My, my queen is on the right square. Well, okay, I will play f5. It just can't be a problem. Okay, bring this hook to f8. There just can't be a tactic here. <laughs> Please, just tell me there are no tactics. I'm begging you. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Why do I always have to put myself in troubles? 
Because queen a1 is not working with rook f2. Should be enough. I hope so. Okay, but I can take with the rook back. I'm coming back. He takes on h7, king h8. <sighs> Covering everything. Hey Sam, hello in the chat. I'm a master. I think my I should be a master of getting myself into trouble for nothing. This is something. Wait, well, I see this M and stuff. It's it means master trouble for nothing. I don't know. It, it should be a, a new a new title for myself because I'm always finding myself into stupid problems. I'm just creating them. I was almost checkmated for no reason. From a winning position, without any problems. This is typical. This is really typical for me. Just getting getting yourself into trouble. This, this is really my thing. But I love this Kung Fu fighting song. I, I I didn't hear it for a long time. I even can't remember who is singing that. But it's just a Kung Fu fighting. It's just so funny. Okay, uh, Okay, I will take one just to see what is he taking with. What is he up to? Because if he takes, oh yeah, okay, so he would take with the pawn. And now, and now, and now. Um, let's bring a queen to a6 for some reason. I don't know why, but I feel like it. Yeah, I'm in. Obviously, I didn't know why, because I'm going backward now. <laughs> the move was not brilliant, but the new move was not losing on the spot. Okay, uh, I, I, I will, I will go for this one. We just give up the exchange and I mean, do whatever I can. Though if he takes here, maybe I'm taking here. Let's think about it. Let's think about it. Maybe I'm taking the bishop. Yeah, I mean, I feel like taking the bishop and taking the pawn. Maybe, yeah, I will take the bishop anyway. He will move back. I will shred the queen. So now you see, I don't have a, box, a black dark square bishop, but I have dark square pawns. Those guys are my dark square. This is like a snake. It's like having a snake. Is it stronger than a piece? I mean, nobody's, nobody's told. Nobody talks about snakes. Okay, I'm going to to ta to tr to take it. Oh, I just have one rook. I want to play rook fd1. Okay, obviously, um, I won't. Um, let me ask the question. Because if he goes to e4, okay, I'm taking, taking, taking. If he goes to c4, I take, and then maybe when I go back, I'm just attacking it again. Just want to go. To, I just want to make it move. But this 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 pawn chain is really strong. I mean, I, I really like it. I'm loving it. I'm loving the pawn chain. He wants to get here. Is it a problem? I don't know. Because if he goes to second rank, what is he really doing? Nothing. Nothing might be a good answer. Yeah, if you ask him a question, what is he doing on the second rank? Nothing would be the answer. Just go for the second rank. Nobody cares. Yeah, I mean, come on, I'm pushing my pawns. I'm just going away. And the good thing is that when those guys will advance, they will be strong. Okay, no worries. I'm moving with my knight over there. Maybe I want to grab your pawn now. I'm really feeling so excited about this snake. Yeah, but I mean, I understand what you want to do, but I'm not letting, letting you do that. I mean, I'm retaking with the knight. I'm keeping my pawns. Again. Coming back to d5, I want to come to f5 now just to kick away the knight, the, the, the bishop. I don't, I don't let him approach my pawn chain. Okay, um, now 
what can I do? Let's go. Learning a lot. Okay, he might want to give a check. I want to do something very funny. Uh, I will show you. He will give a check. I will bring the king to e3. And I wanted to, yeah, it's exactly what I wanted to do. To give up a second exchange. Just to be two exchange down. But with the pawns. Oh, this is funny, guys. You, mu you must agree. That's why I love to play Blitz over the internet. Because I feel more likely to play some funny lines like that. And to have fun with my knights. This is really funny. Give a check. Oh, wow. Maybe I have some c6, c7, c8 now. Okay, c6. Mm. Okay, let's push d5. Knight to b5. Anyway, I will flag him. Worst case scenario, I'm flagging now. Maybe I won't even need it. I should play for the flag, of course. Okay. Okay. So, last game a win to end up the stream. Uh, well, I hope you liked it. It was a hard start. Well, as someone mentioned, we had a few wins, but I mean, it got me. In, he got he motivated me, saying that I was not winning enough, and so we got we got the winning streak. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow the the channel on Twitch, and uh, well, you can have you have an associated uh, English channel on uh, on YouTube. I hope you had a lot of fun. Uh, Watching this Twitch stream was uh, was very funny, uh, and uh, well, I will be back on Wednesday, sixth of December, same time, same place. Uh, have fun, enjoy, and see you guys. Bye.